In this video, we're going to be talking about momentum. If an object has mass and velocity, then that object has momentum. Since mass is measured in kilograms and velocity is measured in meters per second, that means that the units of momentum is kilograms times meters per second. And you can write it like this. Let's say you have an object that's not moving. It will have mass, but no velocity, and therefore it will not have any momentum. So to have momentum, you need to have both mass and velocity. There are two types of calculations involving momentums, collisions and explosions. In collisions, we have two or more objects moving towards each other. They crash and then form one unit, and as a unit, they either move to the left or to the right. And it's our job to calculate which direction and how fast they're moving. In explosions, we have a stationary object which after an explosion releases a particle which flies in one direction and the object itself recoils or moves backwards. And again, we can calculate how quickly it goes backwards. So let's start with calculations involving collisions. So in this scenario, imagine two bowling balls are moving towards each other. They both have a certain mass and different velocities. After they collide, it is our job to work out which direction they're going to be moving together as a unit. So we have the scenario before the collision and after the collision. Now a very important rule about momentum is that it is conserved, meaning that the total momentum before the collision will be the same as the total momentum after the collision. Okay, so let's look at how we can, we can calculate this. Now, before you do any calculations, it helps to set yourself an arrow showing which direction is positive velocity. So, for example, you can say that anything that moves this direction has a positive velocity, and therefore, anything moves in the other direction will have a negative velocity. Remember, velocity is speed and direction. So, because of this, that means the red ball on the right, it's moving towards the left. Therefore, it will have negative velocity. So, the total momentum is going to be a sum of all the momentums that you see over here. So let's start by calculating the momentum of the blue ball and adding it to the momentum of the red ball. Remember, to calculate momentum, we're going to do mass times velocity. So the momentum of the blue ball is going to be 5, which is the mass, times by velocity, which is 6. That gives us a total momentum of 30 kilograms per meter per second. The momentum on the right is going to be 4, which is the mass, times by minus 2, because it's going in the opposite direction. That gives us a momentum of minus 8 for the red ball. Now the total momentum is going to be the sum of the blue ball plus the red ball. So 30 plus minus 8 gives you 22. To quickly summarize that one more time, the blue ball has a mass of 5 kilograms and a velocity of 6 meters per second. Since it's moving towards the right, it'll be a positive number. So that gives us a total momentum of 30. The red ball has a mass of 4 kilograms and a velocity of minus 2 meters per second because it's moving in the opposite direction. So we said anything, anything that moves towards the right will keep us positive, anything that moves towards the left will be negative. Therefore, the total momentum of the red ball is minus 8. So the total momentum before, in the before scenario, is going to be the sum of 30 and minus 8, which is 22. Now the balls have collided, so you can assume that they are one unit. What we want to know is which direction this unit is moving towards. Is it left or right? So we're going to rearrange our equation and make velocity the subject. So remember, momentum is equal to mass times by velocity. Now we know the mass of this whole unit is going to be 5 plus 4, which is 9 kilograms. Because the blue ball weighs 5 kilograms, the red ball weighs 4 kilograms. The momentum of the whole unit is the same as before, because remember, momentum before equals momentum after. So therefore, 22. And finally, all we have to do now is make velocity the subject. So we're going to do 22 divided by 9, which gives us 2.4 meters per second to one decimal place. We know that it's moving 2.4 meters per second, now, because it's a positive number, that means it's going to be moving towards the right. Hey guys, 
If that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com, where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.